This is a Fox News alert. I'm Ainsley Earhart in New York. Some new information from Washington exclusive to the Fox News channel about the investigation into last week's Boston Marathon bombing. That information obtained by America Live host Megyn Kelly follows a briefing on Wednesday between the FBI and some members of Congress. Federal investigators have informed lawmakers the mother of the two bombing suspects reportedly knew as early as 2011 that her older son, Tamerlan Sarnayev, was radicalized. And he had sent messages to his family back in Russia, suggesting that he was willing to die for Islam. He was, in fact, killed in a gun battle with police near Boston just days after that bomb, which killed three people and injured more than 200, went off. And in another exclusive, Fox News has learned the FBI wanted to continue questioning the surviving brother who you see here, Joe Carr, who continues to recover from gunshot wounds in a Boston hospital. But investigators were stopped after a magistrate judge and a federal public defender went there to the hospital and read the suspect his Miranda rights. The agents admit that they were stunned to see the judge there, and they say that they feel valuable intelligence might have been sacrificed as a result of the judge shutting them down. It's not yet clear who asked the judge to go there to the hospital. Investigators claim the premature termination of their questions might have put the country at greater risk. For further details on this exclusive report, visit our website at foxnews.com. We now return and drove away. When they say that my son was shot, that he was lying in the road, that is completely not true. He was calmly arrested. That's all. And then we got the crazy aunt in Toronto. Listen to her. First reaction was anger. How could this happen? How could this do this? For what? For the sake of what? What believes? What prompted them to this? My first call to FBI. They could not have done this. Where are evidence? All you're showing us just the footage. Two guys are walking. And I found it strange. Tamerlan is walking in, in the front. Uh, Jahar is in the back. Why wouldn't they come together? So then are you suspicious that maybe they really did do this? No, I'm suspicious that this was staged. The picture was staged. Now, the AP says he gave up boxing and studying music, and he began to oppose the wars in Afghanistan and Iraq. He found this, yeah. apparently, this radical guy named Misha. He turned to websites and literature claiming the CIA was behind the 9-11 terror attacks, that Jews controlled the world. And then we see what happens on his own YouTube page. What do you think of yeah. it all? Yeah, well, Jihad Mom and Jihad Ant are quite a, a piece of work, each of them. And then I think we're going to know more about... Uh, the older uh, son, Tamerlan's own radicalization. And that YouTube page, I think, is very telling because it showed an intimate knowledge of clandestine leaders uh, in da the Dag Dagestan and Chechnya province, uh, people that were very little known outside of those who were really extremist jihadi adherents like Doku Umarov and Abu uh, du uh, du Dubana. So the idea that, uh, that, that the people in Washington are so conveniently and Expediently dismissing the idea uh, that that the, that the Tsarnaevs uh, had anything to do with these uh, foreign jihadi organizations, I think, is too smug well, for its own good. But then he also went to these mosques. For example, he went to the Islamic Society Boston Mosque, which was in Cambridge, and then he went to the uh, Islamic Society of Boston Cultural Center. Now they have, according to USA Today, invited guests who had defended terrorism suspects. Um, and the head of the group, I mean, in other words, it seems that why not only did the FBI miss the warnings from Russia, and apparently there were multiple ones, but yet these mosques are having these radicals, and it seems we don't do anything about it. Why? Well, I think, uh, of course, political correctness has always been the handmaiden of terrorism on top of that political pandering. And unfortunately, neither party has its uh, hands completely free of this. If you go on my website right now at michellemalkin.com, I talk more about uh, the first president of the mosque that the bombers attended, Abdurrahman al Moody, who has ties to the GOP, and in particular, Grover Norquist, uh, that a lot of people in the, in the establishment had never, never, never condemned 
condemned. If, if this had been a liberal who was tied to it, everybody on the right would be screaming about it. Uh, and so both parties, both establishments are, are guilty uh, of not speaking up enough and doing enough to stop these people. All right, Michelle Malkin, as always, thanks for being with us. We'll continue our investigation. We need to know.